Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use filters in views. So if you remember in our last tutorial, we created a very basic test view right here where it's just bringing in the titles of all of our pieces of content ever. Um, well, let's say we wanted more control over that. Let's say we wanted to just show our basic pages. So if we click this uh, gear here in the top right that shows when you're logged in, we can click Edit View from this. And this will take us to the same place that if we went to Views and then clicked Edit onto our view. So in here, you'll notice that there's a filter criteria. And right now, the only filter is saying, make sure that the content is published. So you can imagine a filter is just like what it sounds. It's a filter. Without it, all of your content just sort of comes right in. And the more specific your filter gets, the less and less this filter lets through. So you can add things, you can remove them. You can, let's say if we took this off of here, it would only show, it would show all of the content, whether it was published or not. If we check this to no, we click on this and we set this to no, it would show only public content that was not published. Since all of our content is published right now, you'll notice nothing shows up down here on our auto preview. So let's set this back to needs to be published. Okay, and let's add something. Let's, let's say we want this to just be content. We want this to only be our basic pages. So no projects, no articles, just basic pages. So let's click add right here. And then if you'll notice, there's all sorts of things in here. Um, so you can actually go through this and sort of get a feel for what's in here. However, we're going to be saying we want to make sure the content type, so it's going to be under content and then type. We want to make sure this is uh, set to uh, basic page. Uh, as you can see, something like content title, you could say only if the content title is this will it show up. Only if the content has these tags. Only if the content is set to sticky or promoted to the front page. Only if the content uh, has an image. All sorts of stuff. So here we're just going to say only if content type. We'll click add all displays. Um, and then here we're going to say is one of. And we're going to say basic page. So you could also expose this filter to allow visitors to change it. However, we're not going to do that. We're just going to say if this filter is a basic, or if this piece of content is a basic page, let it through. We'll click apply. And as you notice, our content here that's displayed has gone from five to three. We now only have home, projects, and about, which are our three content basic pages. Okay, so now we have these three. Well, let's, let's say we want this to be articles, because that's maybe a little bit more applicable. Change it to articles. Now it's just our articles. Okay, cool. What if we want it to be only articles that have been not promoted to the front page? So in this situation, let's save our view here. And I'm just going to go out of it for a second to show you. So the, the uh, well, let's say we have one thing where the content, the articles that have been published to the front page are going to show up right here. And then you want these ones to be the ones that are like, let's say, latest latest ones that not aren't necessarily the promoted ones they could be over here with just their titles and maybe a basic description and then uh, you don't want this content to be duplicate of this content so you could say this one is published to the front page and this one is not so uh, let's go to edit view and we'll say we'll add another filter and we'll go look for promoted to the front page this time I'm going to use the search bar here and just type promote and you can see it filters this out for us. We can select this one. And we could say, is this promoted to the front page? No, we want only items that are not promoted to the front page. And if we add that, you'll see the only one that we have is my first Drupal article, because that's the only one that we told not to promote to the front page. We'll save this. And now you can see that this my first Drupal article is the only one here. If we go into our find content, and let's go to this last one that we made, and we edit this one, and let's set this to not be promoted to the front page. So publishing options, we'll uncheck this, click save it. And as you can see, um, even on this page, but as you can see that this view has already updated that this one is first. 
and this one is second, and um, because these both pieces of content are not published, they'll show up here. Well, as you can see, this is very powerful because if you set up these filters in a way, um, in let's say this Kresge example, um, this filter is saying um, only recent news items, so the latest news items, and it's saying, so the filter is set to news, content type news items, and then it's going to bring in four of them, okay? And then for this featured news, this is going to be looking for one piece of content that's a featured piece of news and that has promoted to the front page. So this one's probably looking for ones that aren't promoted to the front page, and this is looking for one that has been promoted to the front page. As you can see, it's a really great way to control your content. So if you just go through the filters here, you can really get an idea of what you can accomplish. Uh, for the most part, I think maybe uh, filtering by content type is uh, very common, it's very used. Promoted to the front page is very common, very used. And of course, there's so many more options you can really get in here. Uh, so think of filter as just a way to filter your content and show exactly what you want to show. Okay, well that's filters and views. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.